I have a few Vito bags that I use. Um, this one that we're looking at here is the Tech OTMC. Uh, this is the one that I use for mainly plumbing. Um, I'm not a plumber uh, by trade, but I, I, I do go into my rental properties and, you know, fit do taps, fix the toilets, things like that. And I do a bit of maintenance for other customers as well. So any basic plumbing uh, I kind of take care of. Um, this is what this bag is set up for. Okay, so I think I'll just I'll do a run through the tools I have in it. And um, hopefully you find it fairly interesting. <laughs> Those of you guys that are into your veto stuff. Um, and uh, plumbing. Okay, we'll start off with the Nipex scissors. I carry these in all my bags. It's a set of stubby scissors, really. But they're, they're really robust. Um, really high quality. Good for cutting, you know, up to two and a half mil uh, wires, things like that. Good. I'll take them off. Stubby screwdriver. Uh, it's just on the front and a carabiner clip. Uh, basically, I don't want to get it lost in this bag. If you have a rat one out in there, I'll just lose it. Uh, but the thing, I, what I use this for is isolation valves. In the hard to reach places, under sinks, under bathroom basins. Uh, it's nice and compact just to get in and switch the, the water off if there's an isolation valve fitted. Uh, Sharpies, flux brushes. On the side, these are the tapes I use. Uh, Auto water, auto, auto walking uh, Stanley Fat Max tapes. Pull it out, locks. Uh, don't need really, it's just my preference. Um, say, general utility knife, Stanley Fat Max again. Um, I've got five of these, um, basically, in every. I have one in every bag, it's just because it's the knife I'm used to. I do have one other, it's a DeWalt, um, which I like, but it's the one I like for this bag. Um, this side, a couple of Sharpies, HEP 2 removal tool, basically a carpenter's pencil sharpener, radiator bleed key, Spare silicon nozzles. You know what it's like, you use silicon, you leave it for a day or two, it solidifies. What I do is just take off the old nozzle, bang on a new nozzle, and it's usually good to go again. So, obviously with tape loop here, uh, PTFE, gas tape, which I don't use, I'm not a gas registered person, but it's handy to have there, just in case. Uh, amalgamating tape. Um, so that's just some electrical tape. There. Pica pencil. I'll do a separate review on these. I don't really have time to go through it. Why I use that? I use a little Larry uh, pen torch. It's a small torch. The reason I use this is it's got a handy magnet in the bottom. You can just stick it under, you know, sinks, things like that. Um, it's good. I find it useful. I do have a big dual torch. Uh, this is basically my mobile bag, so I'm not going to hump that about if I don't need to. Uh, the Grip It Marksman uh, marker. Again, I've got these in every bag. I use these all the time. Again, I can do a separate review on that. But it's basically a a gas shot, you just uh, place this in the hole, the thing you're going to fix to the wall or whatever. Press the end and it gives a puff of uh, chalk through the hole. But again, I'll do a separate review on that. <coughs> uh, a couple of these screwdrivers. Basically, I use this for... Um, if I'm taking out a bath or anything, the feet in the bath are usually very hard to get into to get the screws out. So you can use this. That's what I use them for. I've got the two bags on the side. Uh, the orange one I use for my 
Barco pipe slices, 15mm, 22mm. Um, it's my preference. I don't know what this is, I think it's an old monument cutter. But the Barco are definitely the best in my experience. So, look, there and there. Let's take that off. And the other one is a similar thing, really, but it's basically pipe slices, but for waste plastic waste pipe. So we are 40 mil and they are 32 mil. Basically, clips over the pipe, spin it around, and it gives you a nice clean cut. Chuck these. Okay, Paco pipe slice. It's a 15 millimeter version. Um, I use these all the time. Excuse the paint on my hands, by the way. <laughs> um, but basically, we clip this onto the pipe like so. Turn in the direction of the arrow. That's it. Cut. Okay, the main body of the bag, this is what I use, probably the tools that I use most often when I'm plumbing. To be honest, uh, first of all is the, the Nipex Cobras. Um, I've got a few sets of these. But basically it's a, a water pump plier that's adjustable. Um, press the button. Yeah, these are brilliant. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this video you're well familiar with these anyway. Uh, so, so I've got two sets of the 250s, and one set of the 250s, as I say, and a smaller set here. These are 180s. That's those. The Nipex pliers wrenches. Uh, I'm new to these, to be honest. I've only been using them for about six months. Uh, I normally use my Baco Finjod adjustables. Hold on. Like this, uh, but honestly, these Nipex, it's the way forward. I mean, they're very expensive for what they are, but you can see how well engineered they are. They're great. The good thing with these is, obviously, once you get it adjusted to the nut you have on, once you clamp that onto the nut, it will not slip. Um, adjustable spanners, you know what it's like. You're under a sink. You got around a, a nut and a 15 mil fitting. Um, and it just slips and you have to try and adjust it, you adjust it the wrong way, why do you? Um, opening instead of closing, closing instead of opening, just a muck about to be honest. Um, but these Nipex, fantastic, really good. So I've got the big set here, it's the 250s, which probably don't use that often. As you can see they're brand new, they're not being used much. Um, the one I use most is probably this size here, which is the 180. Ideal. Again, these are new. I've never, I don't think I've used these. I took the old side of the bag and put them in my general maintenance bag. Um, but, no, they're nice. And another set, even smaller, I think they're 150s, I think. Good, so we've got three sets of those. Small pipe cutter, basically for cutting 15mm speed fit pipe or hip to old pipe, plastic pipe. Okay, a bligatory set of pliers. Just an old NWS set. Um, you always need a set of pliers at some point, don't you? There's the Wira multi bit screwdriver. Um, push that button, extends, push this button, pops open, you get all your bits in there. Basically, just saves you carrying six different screwdrivers. There we go. Saying that, I'll carry another couple of screwdrivers anyway. Uh, just a normal PZ2 
insulated screwdriver. If there's ever a time you need an insulated screwdriver. Small flathead. Uh, I don't know what this is. A uh, wee half. And obviously a really small, like the size zero uh, flathead. Many small screws you come up against. Uh, what else we got on this side? Heat mat, soldering. I don't do too much soldering to be honest. If I do, it's normally Yorkshire fittings. Um, normally compression fittings I use to be honest, or speed fit. Uh, this is just a toilet spanner uh, for flush mechanisms under the toilet. Okay, so that's that side of the bag. Um, the other side. Probably less I use tools, but um, kept them here anyway. This is the Monument Ratchet and Cutter. Again, I've done another video on this, so maybe uh, edit that and put that in here. Basically, we're cutting uh, waste pipe. Um, well, any pipe really, but it's good, it's particularly good at cutting 32 mil or 40 mil pipe. Pull the handle, opens up, and just Rat just down on the pipe and cuts it. That's good. Uh, olive splitter. This is a, I use this a hell of a lot. It's a brilliant tool. Um, again, I've done a little video showing it in action, but it's basically uh, if you're under a sink, um, you undo an old compression fit and the olives, you know, compressed onto the pipe and you want it off. Um, you know, you just you use this. Cut it off, and you can replace it and use a new, a new olive. Great tool. Okay, we've all seen this situation: uh, compression fitting under a sink, for instance. Uh, we want to get this olive off, which has been compressed. Um, so basically, use these monument olive removing tool or olive cutter. Uh, basically. Slip it over the top, squeeze it once, take it off, and I don't know if that's focusing, but the olive's cut, um, no problem at all. Uh, pipes undamaged, because of that pipe. Adjust the balls, here's my little Baco, which is probably my favourite. Uh, I was going on about the Nipex uh, pliers wrenches earlier, saying how good they are, but I, just out of habit, I always reach for this for some reason. I just love it. I just love the, the small, compact size, the narrow jaws. It's great for under sinks. Um, but I'm sure it will get retired once I get used to using the Nipex. Because uh, these, they do have their drawbacks. As I say, you know, slipping off. You know, me personally adjusting it the wrong way. Try to open it, you're, you're closing it. You know, when you try to close it, you're opening it, <laughs> should I say. Yeah, that's it. Uh, set of weed allen keys. These don't see much use at all, to be honest. It's basically, you know, a little, uh, you know, little nuts on taps and shower heads and stuff like that. That's what these are used for. You could probably get away with carrying about three to this whole set, but you never know. Old beater chisel. Um, they actually use this for kitchen sinks. You know the. The waste um, is usually a centre screw. You need a, a big, wide, sort of flat bladed screwdriver or chisel, you know, to get in and undo that screw to lift the waste basket out. The sink is usually what I use this for. Another small adjustable. Another back, and no, that's a monument, sorry. A couple of those. Big heavy juice. Oh. Heavy duty adjustable. Just for anything that requires a bit of force, a bit of leverage, we'll use that. Uh, tube spanners. I'm doing the nuts, tap nuts, or basin nuts, you know, under the taps. Use that. Smaller ones for all the different uh, nuts you get 
usually a monoblock taps under kitchen sinks. Slide that up and do it. Um, they're good life savers, you know, if you don't have them. Um, they're really good. Uh, a couple of them with tapes, they're probably the most commonly used size. Uh, to identify. Inspection mirror. Right. You know, it's lighted under a kitchen sink, you can't see a bloody thing. Um, so, basically, I use this. It's got a small light on it. Shine it up under the sink, see what you're up against. Um, that's it for that side. There's something else in here. Oh no, sorry, my baby, baby Nipex Cobras. They're a bit of a gimmick, to be honest. Uh, what size are these? 125s? Uh, I don't know if I've ever used these, to be honest. But I dare say they have a use if there's a really tight space, you know, a toilet inlet valve or something like that. You can use these to get in about and undo. Anyway. And then, I think that's it. So that's the two side pouches. Um, we've done all around the edges. Now we've got the central pouch, central area. Um, I'll just pull these things out. Got a big long reach uh, PZ2 screwdriver. Don't know why, but it's there. Small hacksaw. Small urban hacksaw. Um, normally, if I come up against C's toilet, you know, close couple of toilet bolts or something, I normally use my multi tool to be honest, but. To see if you come back down to the van, I'll, I'll take this. Uh, it should work. Small mallet. Uh, rubber one side, plastic the other. Uh, Rothenberger. Okay, Rothenberger extendable tap wrench. You know the ones. Shove them up under the sink, try and grab that. Uh, captive nut in the tap and undo it. Can't be a battle, but this helps on occasion. Just a small hammer. Seen better days, to be honest, but it's fine, does the job. A strap wrench, just a cheap draper strap wrench. I basically use this for the some certain taps, you know, you've got the, you take the handle off and you've got the wee collar. The chrome cover, you know, to unscrew, basically, get this round and unscrew it. That's what I use it for anyway. Um, pipe cleaning tool, internal and external, self explanatory. Just a bit of a pipe in there. Twist, gives you a nice clean finish for soldering. These, uh, these are always handy to have, um, 22mm and 15mm speed fit caps. If you ever isolate in the water and want to cap it off and put the water back on, just to, I don't know, a million different situations you would do the, use these, but they're always good to have. Yeah, push on, cap the water. It's another degree of safety, you know, if you're, you know, if you're worried about turning the water back on and you, you're relying on a small isolation valve or something. Um, I normally cap, cap the pipe as well if I can. So they're good to have. Just a hard ruler for more accurate measurements sometimes. Um, I find that useful when I'm fitting outside taps, you know, measuring down from the windowsill. Um, I've got a certain way I do that, I'll show you probably in another video in the future. Uh, here's a round file, deburring uh, pipe. Uh, it. Here we have just a 17mm. Actually, I'm not actually sure why that's there. Um, I think it's actually for taking towel, uh, 
certain tap uh, cartridges out. Uh, tap assemblies out, sorry. That's why that's there. Uh, what else? Uh, just a small tube of silicon multi purpose grease. Uh, normally for O rings. Uh, just, that's got a lot of uses to be honest. But, like that. Spare bits of copper pipe. You never know when you need them. More pipe. Okay, uh, on the Vito we've got the central container. And all I keep in here is basically a roll of emery cloth, just for cleaning you know, paint or corrosion, just general cleaning. Locked out 55. Um, I prefer this to PTFE tape to be honest. It just seems to get better seal. I prefer using it. A couple of bucksy. Spare compression fittings. I don't know if you can see in there, but more PTFE tape, a couple of olives. Just crap, to be honest. <laughs> There's not really much use for this tub. Well, not for me, anyway. <coughs> so. Okay, so what's the good points about this bag? Well, for me, it's. Uh, Definitely the vertical storage. As I say, I'm fairly new to uh, the Vito system, um, but the vertical tool storage is just a, a no-brainer for me. You know, I'm used to using the Dewalt DS400 and DS300 toolboxes. You know what it's like; everything just ends up on top of each other, on top of itself. You just can't find anything. But these Vitos definitely eliminate that. They're pricey, but honestly, I just think they're well worth the money. Um, as I say, I've got this OTMC from a plumbing bag. You maybe see that in the background, I'm not sure. But there's a Tech LC, which I use for my electrical. Behind that, we've got a Tech XL, which is basically a general maintenance bag. It's basically handyman type stuff. Uh, I've got the PB4 and a PB4B, the smaller ones. Um, but again, I'll, I'll do separate videos on those and show you what I use those for. But anyway, I uh, hope this has been of some help to. Some of you people, or you can see what tools I've used, any suggestions or comments, just please leave in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can. Um, as I say, I'm new to the channel, I'm new to this YouTube game, but it's always good to get some su subscribers and likes. Uh, well, the one thing I will say about this particular bag, it tends to annoy me, is this handle. It just annoys me. Um, Especially if you need to get something out of the centre compartment. I don't know if you can see Move this camera a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see how it just hangs over. It's a really sturdy handle, but it just gets in the way sometimes. You know, you try to get these tools out of the middle and it can be a pest. Um, that's really my only gripe for this bag. Maybe the one thing I would say about this particular model, ATMC, is it's maybe yeah, maybe the one thing I would say about this it's maybe slightly too small uh, for a plumber. Uh, you know, if plumbing's your day job and you're doing that every day, it is fairly a fairly small bag. But saying that, if you look at all this here. Basically, that's what's coming out of that bag. Unless there's stuff everywhere. Um, and if you can imagine that in a, a normal toolbox, um, you know, you open your toolbox, look at that. That's, that's what you'd be, you'd be fumbling about. There we go. Stuff falling out already. You'd be fumbling about um, looking for things. Yeah, so here's my old plumbing box. Um, I think this is a DS400, I think it is. Still got some crap in there, but you can see in the bottom of that now. But you can just imagine all that tools that I showed you that came out of my Vito used to sit in here as well, you know, raking about. Um, yeah, so 
you can see the definite improvement of the, of the Vito. Although, well, I do still use, I do still use this box. I mean, obviously, you've got all your compounds, you know, your solvent welds, flux, heat and torch, stuff like that. You know, it obviously won't fit in the Vito bags. So, I still use this anyway uh, for that, but it stays in the van. 90% um, of my jobs I could probably get away with using my veto. Okay guys, thanks for watching. As I said, please subscribe and like the video. Uh, there will be a lot more to come in the future. Thank you.